Hey everybody, it's Phil with Behringer. How you doing today? Here we are at the Sweetwater Gear Fest, having a great time. I want to talk to you today about the XR12. This is a very cool mixing system that you need to know about. So let's talk about some of the cool features. Right off the bat, you notice the four XLRs, right? Those are the Midas Design, the award-winning Midas Design Pre's here on XLRs. These are, in fact, the same XLRs that are on the rest of the X32 products, the X32 Mixer, the X32 Core Producer, all those same exact ones, great quality. You notice the other eight are on quarter-inch jacks, so those are other great line inputs or for keyboard rigs, anything of that nature. It's going to work great for that. So you have these inputs, you have the mic Pre's. That's the way to get into it. Let's talk about some of the feature sets in it. You notice there's not a lot to it. There's no box, right? So what ends up happening is we have these shoulders here. That The design is basically you take it on stage, you put it down maybe by the drum riser, you connect in your inputs, you connect the XLR outs to some powered speakers, you're done. Okay, this is how cool this is. It runs off of internal, there's processing in here that is almost identical to the rest of the X32 family, save a couple of differences. In this, there's four stereo effects that are going on inside the XR12, which is great, versus the X32, which has eight stereo effects. But the architecture is very much the same. It's the same effects, and it's great. They sound amazing. So how do I control this? You can control it with an iPad or a Droid device. So either way, and you can hook up to five devices to the unit simultaneously, and they don't have to be the same platform. So I can have a band members. This is like amazing for like a small band setup. Let's just say it's a trio, right? And I've got a trio set up. I'm up front, I have my iPad. My drummer might have a Droid device and the bass may have another iPad or Droid device. All are gonna play it in the same sandbox really well. So they all work together and I can password protect the network so that it stays that and nobody in the audience decides to climb on and get onto my network or anything of that nature. So the way it works is there's switches over here for how I wanna network these things together. The first switch position is I can actually hook it up to a router and use the device with a hard router, with a physical router. The second switch position is I can use an existing network and connect to that. But as we all know, sometimes in the venues, the, they don't want to give the password to every band that comes through or the network is not that stout or something like that. So what's the cool thing about these is that the third switch position allows you to actually use the built-in router. Okay, so I can connect just between my iPad or my Droid device and this, and no one else can get in. And it's nice because now I have a great solid connection to this device to be able to control it from the stage. So it's really handy to have. So the other feature sets that come along with this, now that I'm connected to it, the channel strips are very much the same. I still have my great EQs, I still have compressors, noise gates, limiters, all those things are stock before I get to my effects. And then, I, like I said before, I had the four stereo effects for great reverbs, choruses, delays, all those wonderful effects, EQs to throw across the master bus if I want to. All those things are built in and controllable via the device, via the tablet. So it's super simple to set up. I have two aux outs that I can send out to monitor mixes or something like that. And also I had this USB port. Now what's hip about that is that I can actually take this device and make it a two-track recorder. So say I want to record a two mix of the band, the live show. Awesome. I connect everything up to it. I connect just a, like a thumb drive, and it's going to record it in uncompressed wave. It's going to be a 44-1 wave file. So that's going to be a really handy device. Or I can play back devices from that either, is either way. So it's really nice to be able to have that capability. I have some MIDI ports here, so I can do some simple controls and things like that of it. And it's a super compact, super cool unit to have both on the stage and just anywhere that you want to have great sound in a super simple setup. So this is basically the XR12, like I said, you have the two aux outs, the XLR outs are going to go over to your powered speakers. So you set up, you plug in the mics, you plug in powered speakers, you have your iPad right there on your stand or a Droid device on a stand right on the stage. And what's nice is that I can have this while I'm performing, because typically what happens is I'm on stage, I'm performing, and I hear something that needs to be changed in the mix, and I have to wait until the end of the song, and I have to go over to the side of the stage to make that adjustment. With this, I can have the device on a stand, I can have my iPad or my Droid on a stand and make changes in real time, either to my monitor mix or to the actual settings that are going to front of house if I'm mixing for myself. If I'm not mixing for myself, the front of house person can actually have their own iPad or Droid and be mixing front of house for me. So it's a super cool device. You gotta come see it. If you're not here at Gear Fest, you gotta come down here and check it out if you're local or if you're coming into town. If not, check it out at the web. 
So this is the XR12 from Behringer. If you have any other questions, please call your Sweetwater sales engineer.